Hey guys, it's Matthew with GearsAgunz.com, and uh, we are coming to you guys after SHOT Show 2023. That was a great show, lots of cool products, lots of content. You might be wondering why we haven't posted anything. Well, we got a uh, one-week suspension on Tuesday for a three-year-old suppressor video that showed us mounting a suppressor. So moving forward, uh, anytime that there's mounting of suppressors, we have to blur it out or just cut it out completely. Uh, so sorry about that, guys. There's nothing we can really do. Our hands are just kind of tied on this one. Um, but anyways, hope you guys enjoy all the content from SHOT Show. We're going to dive into a video that is our top five products from SHOT Show. Hope you guys enjoy. There are a lot of new products this year, but like all years, there is always a select few that really stood out as something to get excited about. There is a lever action AR from Bon Arms that looked promising, but we did not grab a video of it at the SHOT Show. But don't fear, we will feature a full review of that here soon, since Bon Arms is not that far away from our range. But we'll be talking about products from Holosun, Magpul, Olympus Arms, Dead Air, and B&T. Let us start out with our Swiss friends over at B&T. They showcase their APC-9 Limited, SPC-223, KH-9 Covert, and their BWC. Oh, and hey, guess what they're importing now? The FEG Dragonoff. That's right. But one of the more interesting things in their booth was the M14 suppressor that mounts around the front post site. Requires absolutely no modifications to your current M14, and it just hooks right on. It's pretty slick. Moving on to Magpul, they announced their DACA grid system, which works with their DACA hard cases or with Pelican bolt cases. This is pretty cool considering you can just swap it out for whatever loadout you need for that day instead of a dedicated laser cut. And all this for 140 bucks for the inserts isn't that bad of a price, and it's already available. Dead Air released their new Mojave 9 suppressor, which has a triskelion baffle design to help reduce back pressure and reduce the decibel reading at the ear. Not to mention it's fully 3D printed out of titanium, and it's one of the lightest 9mm cans I've ever held, but it does come with a price at $10.99. Moving on to Hollow Sun, and this is a big talk of the show, they announced their new night vision and thermal red dot sights. Both have the name DRS, but one's DRS NV and one's dash TH, and they also have their Pro Series. For the night vision, you're looking at about $1,000, and both the thermals is $1,600 for the regular and $2,200 for the Pro, but it won't be available to the end of the year. And you might think, well, isn't there already some red dot thermal sites out there? And yes, you're absolutely correct, but most of those go about $4,000 or more. So they're not very affordable. So I think the big thing here is that they're making an affordable thermal and night vision red dot, which is pretty big for the average consumer. And moving on to what I think is the coolest thing from SHOT Show, it is the Olympus Arms Vulcan Rifle. It is chambered in 308, with plans to be fully multi-caliber in rifle and pistol calibers. This rifle features a long recoil system like found on the Barrett M82. This takes a familiar AR platform, which we all know, enhances it as far as the controls for the safety, bolt drop, and the magazine release, and it also incorporates a long recoil system. So essentially the 308 has the same recoil of a 5.56. Now the biggest question we get is, well, what's the accuracy? We didn't get an answer about that, but if we had to assume based off of the Barrett, it's gonna be anywhere from one to three MOA. We'll know once we get it in for testing. Another question that we had was, can you run a suppressor on it? Absolutely, you can. And then, well, what's the price? Well, I got anything from 3,800 is what I was told to another person telling me 4,500. So let's just say it's $4,000. But if you want a more in-depth video about any of these products, including the Vulcan rifle, we'll be leaving a link to all of our videos and interviews that we did with each of these companies. Thank you for watching and comment down below what your favorite product from SHOT Show was this year. We'll see you guys on the next video.